Hello guys, welcome back to another week of Tuesday Tutorial. It's only our second week. What I want to talk to you about today is Lightroom presets. If you've been on Instagram for a while, you've probably seen an influencer or a photographer talk about Lightroom presets at some point. What are they and how can you make a photo go from this to this all within your phone? So what is a Lightroom preset? A Lightroom preset is a group of custom settings that have been designed in the Lightroom software. Over all the years of editing and practicing and trying to build a style, we're able to save the settings that we put on a photo as a preset so that we can take those settings and put them on other photos. This allows us to be able to have a consistent style and to speed up our editing process and also to be able to share our style with other people. To give you more of a visual example, here I am in the Lightroom desktop application. These are the settings that we customize to create our presets and to make our photos look beautiful. All of these settings have a different slider and you can change them to however you like the photo. These are the settings we're saving in a preset. What makes presets so great is that you don't have to spend hours and hours learning how to edit photos to make your photos look beautiful. You can just purchase a pack of presets from a photographer you look up to or from someone who has great photos that you really like the style of. You can take those presets, put them on your photos and bang, they look beautiful. Also, you don't need the software for your desktop to be able to use presets. You can use them straight on your mobile and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. The first major bonus of using the Lightroom mobile app is that it's completely free to download the app and to use it. First type in Lightroom CC in your app store and download the app. Now that you have the Lightroom app on your mobile, it's time to buy some presets. I'm going to show you how to buy presets off of our website, but the process is exactly the same for anybody else that you want to buy presets from. Now you can check out where you'll be asked to fill in some details billing information, credit card, etc. before you can pay for the presets. Once your payment has been processed, you will receive a confirmation with your order number and a link to be able to download the presets. You will also receive an email with an extra link if your page gets lost. To download presets on your mobile, this next step is very important. You must download Zip Extractor. Head into your app store, download Zip Extractor. Now you can start to download the mobile presets. When the file finishes downloading, press open in, press zip extractor, then extract. Your files will appear from the folder. Now let's move them into the Lightroom app. You must do this individually for each preset by clicking the little eye icon, then open in, and then finding the Lightroom app. Now that you've imported one preset, you can go back and use the same process for each preset until you've imported all the presets into Lightroom. So now you've got all your presets in Lightroom, we need to create an album to keep them all together. I've just typed in Ultimate Preset Pack 2, which is our new preset pack, and you'll find the album here. Now we need to import all of our presets into this album by pressing the plus icon. Now for the final step before you can start editing your photos, you need to create the preset using the images you've imported by pressing the three dots in the top right hand corner, and then typing in the preset name, and then create preset. If you do this for each of your presets, you will be able to find them in the preset tab that I will show you in a second. Let's apply some presets on our original photo. Find the preset tab on the bottom here by swiping across. Now the presets will come up and you can go down the list and find which one you like best. For demonstration purposes, I've chosen Brighten Up. I think this preset looks great, but our skin tones are a little bit too orange. So I'm gonna go in and fix this. I go into the color panel and click the orange color and I'm turning down the saturation and the luminance to get our skin tones looking more realistic. Within the Lightroom app, you can adjust a lot of different settings like the exposure, the contrast, the highlights and the shadows. We always like to go through and adjust these settings individually for each photo so that we can really optimize the quality of each photo after applying the preset. And this is the final product, a before and after of our photo completely edited on our mobile using our mobile presets. 
as you can see, it's pretty incredible what you can do with your photos all within your phone. I hope this tutorial has helped you understand a little bit more about Lightroom presets and how to get them onto your mobile and then how to use them within the phone. As always, Marie and I love to help you guys and if you contact us on Marie Fan Jake's No Presets on Instagram, we reply to those messages daily. So happy editing guys, peace out. See you next Tuesday.